All right. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. I have no idea. Welcome to something quite special. It's a little relaxing, friendly, in-depth look. Uh, some footage, some gameplay footage from Witcher The Wild Hunt. Uh, my name is Damien Monnier. I'm one of the senior gameplay designers um, on the game. But I didn't come here today alone. I came here with a good friend of mine. Some call him my uh, German lover. <laughs> Ladies one of and the many. One of the many. Ladies and gentlemen, Miles Toast. Hey, I'm Miles Toast, and I'm a level designer, and we both actually work on Wild Hunt. Together. So first of all, we would like to thank GOG very much for having us here, and uh, giving us this opportunity to show, actually show off some brand new gameplay yeah. of our game. Yeah, because so far we've been showing it to the press. Actually, the press has uh, been playing the game. Uh, we've been touring uh, the US. We came back yesterday. Which is why I have no idea. We're a bit jet lagged still. Everything will be fine. They just grabbed us, they put us here, <laughs> and they just said, just talk about the game, which we can do for hours. So, however, we're, you know, we're really happy because this time it's not the press that gets to see it, but it's you guys, um, our community, our fans, and as you know, we love you very much. Indeed. And we apparently uh, recorded some footage, and we're going to show you that. And the cool thing about it is that we can pause at any time, according to our own will. And we can keep on talking about some of the cool things that we're seeing in the power gameplay. of space bar. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, but uh, actually, I was just spending some time on our forum just before then on Reddit as well, and I saw that the footage was uh, released already. So you can take a look at it. I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube, but you're not going to see it uh, with these two describing it, which I'm sure makes it better. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's take a look. Let's see what we're starting with the logo, as you would. It's our game. It's our game. A little baby. All right. We are in what we call a, uh, well, a POI. Do you yes. want to explain what's a POI? POI is a point of interest. One of the fancy level design terms that we came up with here. And uh, it is basically, it can be a location, a place, something that's very to attract the main question. Yeah, sort of. One, you'd probably get some, some loot, some special loot by killing those guys, even if you go a little deeper. Let me just, you know, I'm just going to pause it. Here. Let's take a look. So right now we are in Skellige. Skellige is, we are currently on Art Skellig. That's right. Uh, Skellige is an archipelago, mm -hmm. and Art Skellig happens to be the largest island of this archipelago. And it is home to a noble warrior people. Shaped by the harsh environments. It's a beautiful sentence. I love that. I know, right? You can see a lot of mountains in the distance as well. I mean, there's a lot of... We have there. Actually, that's... A... You, don't you don't want to go anywhere near that. What we got? I'm going to pause here again, because that's pretty cool. That's it's something I've been saying a lot, if you've been... Uh, coming to our presentations, uh, our tours around the world, I always say, you know, everything you see in the distance, something you can go to, and it's, it's not only true, but it's really impressive because right now, I mean, technically, I could go to the, to these mountains in the distance, could I? Yeah, yeah. If it's uh, if it's not steep enough in parts, basically, if you can conquer it, it's yours. Some things might be too steep, some things you need to climb, but eventually you can get there. Okay, it's all like sideways. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we just called the horse. There you go. Roach. Roach is awesome. Roach is Geralt's horse. Fun trivia, actually. He calls all of his horses Roach. Yeah. It's from if one, yeah, exactly. If one dies, he'll just take the next one and call him up. That's right. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy riding the horse. It just gives you this freedom to go pretty much wherever. As uh, as the horse can climb it as well. Uh, right now, actually, we could fight. You saw the... Uh, we took the sword out because there were, what was that on the left? There were some harpies, wasn't it? Uh, I think it was harpies, yeah. Because some harpies so you can fight on horseback as well if you don't want to come down. Um, however, the horse panics, it will kick you off. Or it will start even kicking and getting aggressive. Those kicks are really cool because they can pretty much one-shot uh, an enemy like a wolf. If the wolf goes behind and the horse just hoofs him in the face, it's pretty much a headshot. It's pretty cool. Not many people know that. There you go. Now you do. <laughs> so let's carry on. Beautiful mountains. We're not far from a village right now, which 
No, we're gonna go to the side, actually. Did you mention that you can actually uh, hold the A button, when, for example, on Xbox, and it will follow a road, any given road? Auto, uh, what would you call it? Autopilot horse. That's very convenient. It gives you the ability to just look around. And, I mean, we don't have any obvious roads here, because we don't care. It is useful. It really is useful. Actually, uh, Kotaku that released a preview uh, like 15 minutes ago. Again, I, I just that's all I do at work. I just He's go just on Reddit on and all the time. Go on. I mean, it's really important for us. <laughs> We've been working on this. You know the years, so I want to see what people think about it, about the game. And uh, yeah, basically, the, I forgot what's his name, but the guy from Kotaku loved it because it's it's a nice little break. You know, it allows you to just go around and enjoy the the vista. Look at that jumping like. So you're in a village. Typical example for a skelly uh, village. Run away to the notice board. Yeah, pause it here. Wait, give me a sec. Ah. Do you want to see this? All right. All right. That's good enough. So notice boards are basically a place where Geralt, being a professional monster hunter, can go and find... Uh, some jobs. Some jobs, basically. some contracts. Sometimes they, they're not only contracts, we have some random trivia like what the people like in the that village one. do. Which one is that? Read it. <laughs> yeah, it's it, does, it kind of fits uh, your profile, Damien. It's my Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually my Tinder profile. <laughs> but basically, uh, all right, moving on. Girl just grabs all of them. Picks them up, <laughs> as you do. And these will just, like, it's a side quest. Sometimes they're, they're quite obvious. They will tell you, go see that person. He needs you. Sometimes they're a bit more vague. Uh, okay, right now we <laughs> Here's see... Here's another way to kind of get a quest. We're just random. What's this on? Character that I like. Actually, you know what? Um, Can you? Huh? Can you tell us something about the handsome man that we're seeing there? Gera, I love his uh, armor. Uh, yeah. Part of the uh, well, actually, you can craft quite a few armors in the game. We'll get to that later on because uh, you'll be uh, asking us some questions. Some of them were already posted on the forum. I know that there's one about crafting, so we'll cover that later on. But I really like the armor. I love the armors, and this one's really cool. I like the, the long. Partner with me. Let's just shut up work on this. Pay to make an exception this time. Okay, let's just pause. Have a look at the guy's name, which I really like. I don't know, what, what's it from? I don't get it. It's from uh, Star Trek. <laughs> Django <laughs> Fred. He's cool. He's a bounty hunter. He's really, really cool. I really like that guy. I think you just upset a lot of people. It's not every day you get a chance to work with the most renowned bounty hunter oh. north of the Yaruga. Let's just enjoy Django the dialogue. Fred himself. I'll bite. What's the famous Django Fred need a witcher for? I'm guessing Fred. you're a man of the world. Perhaps you've come across the Grossbart brothers in your travels. You hunting them? Aye, quite the rogues they are. Three of them, and everyone's got a pack of rapes and murders under his belt. Even took to grave robbing lately. Easy to recognize on account of the yellow caps they wear. Folks see three yellow tops, they flee to their huts. Which don't help much of course, because they're also fond of arson. No, haven't met him. If you do, Tread careful. The Quick to stick a knife in a man's gut. Often just. Right. Well, I head south soon. I haven't looked there yet. Fare you well. You might meet again someday. All right. So, that guy needs us to uh, go find these bad people basically it's quite it's quite simple it's quite straightforward but it becomes a little more complicated yeah who knows what on. happens as you find these right well i do the brothers that is you, oh, do. you do do you as well have you played that one i actually don't okay there we go <laughs> surprise oh right okay right, right, it's important so um girl just approached a uh, waypoint of way sign so it's like fast travel so basically point. it's a fast travel point and uh, we can only fast travel from these points to any of these that we have here on the map, as you see the little um, greenish icons. Now, these icons we unlock by visiting them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, these are not, like, you don't start. It's important to point out you don't start with these unlocked already. So exactly. uh, We've done that just for the sake of yeah. uh, what time, really. Exploration is key. And, and just for the sake of scale, like, if we look at Ker Gallen there, which is... Just on the right. Uh, it's right now. It's very much to the right of the uh, cursor, uh, right of Rogner. Mm -hmm. We came from the POI, the castle that was Cargill, and we went all the way down to Blandare in the south. This village. 
That gives you an idea. I mean, even this, like this tiny, tiny part of uh, yes. one of the islands of uh, the area. So here we're going to go to the arbor. Control it. Control it. Yes. With a beautiful loading screen, which I like. Can I Big shout it? out to Jose, who's a uh, uh, sky man. He does some amazing sky stuff. Man. Sky man. Official title. Next Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Careful the harbor. Next gen geese, you can see there. Look at guys. them. Look at them. That is next gen. So, a nice little village. I mean, the, it's important to point out as well that the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I get timing. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, go back, whoa. Go back. No, we want to talk about that. There we go. What's on that, what's that goose? What's just, what's he owns it. The village will change based on the time of day or even the weather. Uh, it's really important to point that out because it really adds a lot to, uh, well, to the area. The world, yeah. It makes it feel alive, basically. Exactly. And they will react to you as well, to the things you've done. It's... Uh, it's a little something, but it really adds to, uh, to the feel of the game. And top left, which is really what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, it's really hard to see because it blends in so well. It's uh, a cat. If I'm correct. And it's home to the Uncrate clan, which is one of the many clans that basically uh, live in Skellige. Yeah, actually, the press got to play. We loaded yeah, a save right. game that took them there, so they, they had this quest, which was really brilliant. Uh, it's actually, surprisingly, a side quest. They yeah. thought it was a main quest, but it's yeah. a side quest. I think some of the previews will probably cover uh, some of the decisions and how those decisions affected the whole area. So we'll see. I, don't, I haven't seen yeah. one yet. But so basically, you can go there. If you want you to, can. Just you can. Go and it is pretty cool. All right, so. That goes. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I totally it's forgot. A, hmm. Let's have a look. What will we see? All oh, right, yeah. All oh, right, so this is actually from the beginning of the game. Uh, this is when you're still with Vesemir, and we will. Vesemir is the girl's mentor? He is, right, that's right. I'm going to just enjoy this for a second, actually. That was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. All right, actually, I want to talk about something real quick. Because they cut a little early. Can we go back? That doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll stay on that. Yeah. We get to make but a basically, choice. that guy, um, at one point, yeah. there we go. for the help because he knows you're a witcher and that's what you do. You help people often for money, you take contracts, so he offers you some money. And that's because it's at the beginning of the game, we introduce you to some of those choices and the consequences. But we need to make it quite straightforward at the beginning. Um, and it's really as close as it will get to a black and white choice. Either you do ask him for money, and uh, it will affect the rest of the uh, the game. Actually, we no. talk about it when we get... Yeah, a little bit, because... Yeah, yeah there's a tavern bit. Yeah, there's a tavern bit that will be affected by it. But again, it's something that's quite small. We introduce you to that sort of stuff. Or if you're nice and you don't want the money, then something quite nice will happen. Yeah, it's basically an example to show that uh, the whole consequence and choice thing that we're talking about, it's not only on a grand scale, it also happens on very small yeah, but scale. It's true, it's true. But it's also really straightforward, and that was the point of it. You know, you're, you're either you're good or you're bad, and that's pretty much the last time you're going to see something that straightforward. And the first time. And the first time, indeed. So, there we go. So, we are getting to the uh, White uh, Orchard Village, named after the white apple trees you can see there on the left. Actually, we can pause here, I guess, and talk a bit about it. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the apple trees. Where are we, where are we going now, actually? So, yeah, right after we save the guy, we're going to the tavern, mm -hmm. which happens to be actually um, owned by the cousin of the guy. 
And exactly. Yeah, so that's what I was on. Well, uh, no, no, that's right. You don't know his cousin, so you don't know the exactly. he. Exactly. Only revealed after you did your choice, and then depending on that, mm -hmm. you know, the cousin might treat you nicer in the tavern or not. You get, so it's like immediate yeah, you reaction. Get free there. stuff, don't you? I think. Yeah, Spoilers. exactly. It's it's not it's it's a minor spoiler. Of it's course, minor, but, it's, but yeah. it's like you know, like sometimes it doesn't happen this fast. Actually, most of the time, the yeah, reaction yeah. to your choice is you know not. Like, and it's an introduction. You need exactly. to understand the rules, and that's what the uh, you could call it a tutorial. That's what a tutorial is for. It's introducing you to the world of the Witcher, the game. You know how you need to role play as the Witcher, who you are as a Witcher. Um, yeah. Let me go again. I can't get enough of them. <laughs> Spending hours chasing them. I think I'm going for also the What? Witches? I'll not drink with Weaver Law's freaks. All right, this is actually really important, and I know that it's going to cut straight after this because I, I remember now. But this is a really important scene. So, like I said, the whole um, we call it a prologue. So, if you see our game a bit like a story, we call this the prologue, the beginning of our story. And the prologue is there, like I said, to introduce you to many things. And this particular cutscene is is there to to introduce you to um, how people see uh, witches. Um, and you can tell it's you know you're not really liked. Yeah, you're basically this yeah. superhuman monster slayer. You have abilities that normal people don't have, and they're simply afraid of what they don't know or they don't understand. Yeah, you're a mutant, basically. So people will dislike you uh, from the get-go often, and it's not it's not very easy actually when you play and you have people that just dislike you, even though you want to be a good witch. Uh, often you just want to say you know. F it and let everyone die, but which you can, if that's your thing. We can do it. You can do it. 